Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona, and thank you for watching this clip on finding equation of parabolas. Parabolas are cool curves. If you have a flashlight at home, now ask your parents, of course. If you have a flashlight at home, take it apart, you'll see the location of the light bulb is located on a focus. It's such that the curve, the light, emitted from the light bulb goes out after reflecting off the flashlight curve, par parabolic curve here. The light goes parallel. So it actually gave you a beam coming out. I don't know about you. The first one, when I took it away, I thought, oh, wow, this thing is really cool. Okay. <clears throat> and from there, my research from my doctoral degree, I was actually designing space telescopes, but this is where I got a start of it, and it's really cool. So like I said, if you have one at home, take it apart, ask your parents and take it apart. It's, it's, a, it's a phenomenal, interesting, at least to me anyway, um, curve. Okay, so mathematically, it's a little boring, but not too hard. The curve has a special property. I'm trying to decide how to draw it. It's not quite this one. Well, actually, maybe we'll just start with this one. It said a focus at a four, zero. So one, two, three, four. And here's our four, zero. Okay, so the curve, something looked like that. It's probably not a good curve here, but you got the picture. The curve has a special property in that here's our directrix x equal to zero. Any point on this curve, any random point on this curve, it has a property such that the distance to the focus is equal to the distance to the line. I see a DL for the line and DF for the focus. So all you have to do to find an equation is use the definition. Definition is really powerful. Tool. So let's take a look. df is equal to x minus 4 squared plus y minus 0 squared. That's the distance between two points. That's just how we find it. dl, if you look at this chart over here, this chunk is x. Okay, so if this one has been x minus 1, and you have to add a 1 there, but for our case, it's x equal to 0. Hey, the simpler, the better, right? So we're going to put x in there. So we have x over here. And now all we have to do is just set those two equal to each other, and then we're going to have an equation coming out, and that's what we're looking for. So radical root of x minus 4 squared plus y squared is equal to x. Let's square on both sides, x minus 4 squared plus y squared is equal to x squared. Collect and gather terms and clean it up. So x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus y squared equal to x squared. x cancels out. And then we have y squared is equal to 8x minus 16. Pretty easy and simple. Like I said, if it's not as simple as this one, again, use definition. Write the distance from the point, any point on x, y, to the focus, and then write the distance from the point to the directrix, and set them equal to zero, then you're home free. All right, I hope it's clear. Please leave a comment on the YouTube. I would love to hear and see if this video helped you at all. Until next time, have a confident day.